check in with Mike Yanni. He's been hammering nails. He's been, you know, working with studs. What are you up to now, Michael? <laughs> well, the wall is up, you guys. You can see that. Now the students, they've put the window in, and now they're doing something that, you know, I wish I learned earlier on in life. They are doing a little bit of electrical here, and Alonzo standing by, and you've been teaching them some of the basics of electricity. Well, this is uh, something uh, simple in a way, but you have at least the... That way the kids, they have the idea how power goes on to the plug in there. So that's what the kids are doing right now. This is something simple the people they do in Mexico, not in Canada. In Canada, we have regulations. We have to respect that. But they're in Mexico, it's they are going to be doing this. They will do that. The kids they will do the, all the electrical and drywalling after that. Now, somebody who's actually done this before, uh, if you want to follow me, Nick, this is John here. John, you know what? He's kind of known as a bit of a troublemaker. You've been on this trip before. You're an alumni. Now you were a teacher here at Glenmore. Um, why do they say, why are all the teachers telling me you're the troublemaker? Oh, I, I maybe have a little reputation <laughs> as a student. Um, you know, I, I feel like I, I maybe pushed the lines a little bit, <laughs> maybe came a little too close. Um, one time I, I got punched in the face by a Mexican down there while I was down there. Uh, but it was friendly because they were just kind of play fighting. I didn't realize it. And yeah, I got in a little bit of trouble there. A little bit of trouble. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what do these students, what do, they probably have no idea what they're getting into. Um, well, we try to prepare them, but uh, yeah, I mean, really, really, it's, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of things outside their comfort zone, um, which, is, which is a great experience for them to get outside their comfort zone and really experience something uh, that they're not necessarily expecting. So, yeah. so we have Sean, Danny, and Scott standing by now. Uh, we were talking earlier about Spanish. How much Spanish do you know? Next to nothing. No. I am in French. You're in French? Yes, my second language in school is no, French. It's Spanish. Danny? I'm in French, so I actually don't know it. French and? Scott? I'm in French also. Wow, okay, three French students. So let's just say, let's have a little quiz here, okay? Let's do basic words. Washroom. <laughs> Washroomito. Uh, no, no, at, at Banos? Banyo. Banyo. So, yeah, don't, don't feel bad. I don't even know my Spanish. Danny, okay, I'm going to slip in here. Um, how about please? Por favor. Hey, good job, good job. Um, Scott, see if you can translate this. I don't speak Spanish, but can you tell me what channel Breakfast Television is on satellite? Uh, <laughs> God, that wasn't fair. That wasn't fair. <laughs> but you're yeah. saying, yeah. You, I mean, obviously, there's different things you can get by with uh, yeah. with the other. You don't need to speak the the full language. Yeah, it's you can do like hand gestures and stuff. Try to at least put in an effort to try to express what you're trying to say to them. And you'll learn. Everyone here is going to learn a lot of things when they head down to Mexico. Ted Tar. All right, yeah. thanks, Mike. But just heard the school bell, by the way. <laughs>